Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Rocket One's Equipment. Today we got a comparison video for you. You'll see that I have three tractors here with snow blades. Uh, we're going to compare the three. So we have a BX2380 paired up with an STP0560. We have the LX2610 paired up with the LX2972. And last but not least, we got the L3301 with a B2673. So you'll see that the two at the ends are uh, loader mounted and then the one here in the middle is frame mounted. So let's jump right into comparing all three. When talking about uh, loader mounted angle blades on Kubotas, up until this year you had two options. You either go with uh, the Kubota one, uh, which was the B series front angle uh, blades. Um, and now Kubota's come up with the Land Pride STP lineup. So uh, whether you start at a BX or, and go up from there, no big issue on the STP. You know, uh, they make them uh, from 48 inches wide right up to 84 and paired uh, with the tractor, appropriate tractor, whether it be a Grandel or a BX. Uh, that was the drawback to the B series blades from Kubota is uh, they only came in 48, 60 or 72. They paired up nicely to B series tractors, but once you get into uh, an L01 or, uh, or a Grandel, there was virtually nothing for you kind of idea. So uh, outside of this 72 inch model. So, uh, so it's nice having more selection and paired up with more, with more selection, it's much easier to pair up with your tractor so, uh, and the Kubota lineup. So uh, that is one of the benefits. Whenever you could put these blades head to head, there is a little bit more curve to that moldboard on the, on the Land Pride and the hydraulics seem to be a little bit smoother. It really depends on the tractor, what you're going to get out of the hydraulics. But whenever you're pairing up the hydraulics with the Land Pride third function, everything's quick, simple, easy. It is manufactured and tested all together. So uh, you'll see that. After that, always strongly recommend getting the hydraulic option with it. It's not a whole lot of fun whenever you get a lot of snow and having to pull that pin and angle it um, as need be, especially if you're doing an open area uh, where you have to adjust it quite often. Um, and which brings us to a, one of the benefits of why you may want to go with uh, a loader mounted blade. And that is you have big open areas, you know, cause it's gonna do a quicker job than what a snowblower does whenever you get into big, big areas or nice straight pushes where, uh, you know, I'm not talking 50 or hundred feet, you know, where you're going, you know, up to a kilometer long and it's just nice straight where you may wanna just push that snow off to the side then a blade's going to be what you may want to consider. Um, again, either one of these will do that uh, no problem. Uh, it's going to do it beautifully. The nice thing too with a loader mounted one is whenever you get to the end that you're able to lift that bank right up as high as that loader will go, uh, which is nice whenever you, you get into February uh, and start running out of room. Whenever you're pushing with these, it really comes down to the weight of the tractor. So you want to make sure you're paired up right with the actual sizing of the blade. You don't want to oversize it. We see that all the time. People wanting to put like a 72 inch on the front of a BX. It works great if you got five, maybe up to 10 centimeters. But after that, it, it's going to lose traction. It's just not going to push it, especially if you get that heavy, wet snow. Uh, it's just going to bog down and you're not going to be happy with the performance. So you want to make sure you size it appropriately, uh, which is getting really easy to do on the uh, STP lineup. One thing uh, you may want to consider whenever you're thinking about getting a uh, uh, any sort of blade for the front is either chains or studs for your rear tires. It's really going to help because again, what's really going to bog down these tractors isn't the actual pushing of the of the snow. It's going to be losing traction because especially if you pair up nicely, the appropriate sizing, that's what's going to really help you out on that is more traction you get, the better you're going to push. And again, with the loader mounted blades, you're going to be able to push up nice and high. Uh, and be able to, to do it, especially with that down pressure, be able to cut right in. So uh, now let's talk about this frame mounted uh, blade here on the front of the LX. So Kubota makes a selection of frame mounted blades, uh, whether it be for the, uh, for the BX, B01, LX and the Grand L's. You know, there is a selection of uh, blades available for it. Some of the reasons why you may want to select a frame mounted one is you already have the hardware. You know, you've got that front snowblower. Uh, so it's a quick and easy, so, switch over between the two or you're pushing a lot of snow um, again and, and maybe possibly you don't have a loader so you may want to look at a, a frame mounted blade and again if you're doing commercial more than likely you're going to be selecting a frame mounted one uh, you know there's a lot a lot less wear and tear um, it's going to absorb those hits a lot better whenever you do accidentally especially if it's a curb <laughs> there's a lot less to bend on this i'm not going to say it's going to be less expensive but it, if you really hit something, but it should absorb it better. Whereas a loader uh, mounted blade, if you hit a curb or something, you can potentially uh, get into damage of the, damaging that loader. And then also wear and tear, you know, the pins and stuff uh, can add up uh, on a front of a loader. Whereas this, 
a little bit more simple, uh, a little bit more durable. Some of the other benefits of a frame mounted one is it's going to push better. Uh, you know, it's not all the way out front. It is very close to the tractor. It's going to give you uh, a little bit more weight, spreading of the weight to make it a better push. Um, again, at, after that, some of the pros are visibility. You know, being that much closer, it is e a lot easier to see where you're at. Uh, you're not looking, uh, you know, eight to 10 feet in front of you. It's only three or four uh, from where you're sitting to where you're gonna be looking. So not bad that way. On straight pushes and everything, it, it is gonna do a better job. There's no doubt about it. It's gonna be done quicker because whenever you're doing commercial, uh, you know, you wanna be done quicker and faster so you can move on to the next driveway or parking lot uh, to do your work quicker. One other benefit is you don't need third function. Uh, you know, uh, again, if you do have that loader uh, and not operating in the winter, you don't have to have third function to operate one of these blades because it comes standard with uh, hydraulic angle and lift and which is all under your loader already. So, so pretty, pretty great that way. Again, some of the downsides though to this is whenever you get to the end of that push is it doesn't lift as high. You know, you're only gonna get about three, three and a half feet there uh, of pushing up. And whenever you do push up is you can run into scenarios where you're gonna get hung up because um, you are lifting that front end up. You may run into it where you, you, you bury the tractor right then and there um, and, and have to pull it out. So always some benefits and drawbacks to it. So, uh, so yeah, so that's uh, kind of the end of the comparison. Uh, so to recap at the end of this video of why you may think about purchasing uh, a front uh, angle blade for your tractor. Some of the benefits to an angle blade that you're going to run into is it's quicker and faster than what you're going to do on a snowblower, especially on big open areas or straight pushes uh, that are quite long. After that, it can be cost effective, depending if you already have the third function or the quick connects for your snowblower. And then after that, why you may want to pick one over the other, uh, you know, front angle blade for the front of your loader, uh, especially if you have third function is pretty cost effective on that. Uh, it's going to give you a, a great push. There's no doubt about it. It, uh, at, the, at the end of your pushes, it's going to lift quite a bit higher. You know, not really have a chance of, uh, being hung up on it. Some of the drawbacks though is the wear and tear on the machine. Uh, again, there is lots of moving parts there uh, and it is on the front of your loader so you got to be careful not to catch a curb or something uh, along those lines it can get very expensive very quickly. Visibility wise and turning radiuses compared to what you're going to see on a frame mounted aren't as tight or as good there. Cost wise, like I said, mentioned before, if you don't have that third function it can get relatively expensive if you're going for that hydraulic angle. And then whenever you jump to the frame mounted one, it's the BX right up to the Grand Dale, you're if you're thinking more commercial end of it, uh, it is it's going to give you a better push there. Um, you know, it's that much closer to the to the tractor visibility wise. It's going to be there. It's going to be better. After that, if you already have the front snowblower, uh, the cost effectiveness it goes is great because it's pretty easy to switch between the two. Um, and again, it's going to cut down your wear and tear there uh, expense wise. Uh, it's going to do a better absorb better job of absorbing those hits if you do end up catching a curb, let's say. And again, whenever it's giving you a straight push, it's gonna do a better job because it's that much closer to the tractor spreading out that weight. Uh, the, really the only drawbacks to it is whenever you get to the end of that push, you know, it's not gonna be lifting as high and you have a better chance of getting hung up there in that snow. So you just be mindful of that. So overall, so hopefully that answers a few of your questions why you may wanna select a front angle blade for either a loader or frame mounted. Uh, and if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.